Good morning, everybody. It's that time of the year again. Moffitt Cancer Center will host its 17th annual Men's Health Forum on March the 18th. Last year alone, just over 2,200 health screenings were done on the one day, plus free vouchers were distributed for prostate cancer screenings. And that is what brings baseball all-star Ken Griffey Sr. to the event this year. Griffey, famous outfielder for the Cincinnati Reds, survived his own battle with prostate cancer but lost four uncles to the disease. Griffey and his famous son, Baseball Hall of Famer Ken Griffey Jr., travel the country talking about prostate cancer, early detection. Griffey Sr. will be sharing his story at the Men's Health Forum on Saturday at the USF Marshall Center in Tampa. And we are delighted to have in our studios with more. We have Nikki Ross Inda of Moffitt Cancer Center and Mr. Robert Butler, who is a cancer survivor. Welcome to you both. Thank you. It was so fascinating to hear Ken Griffey Sr. say how awkward and weird it was for him to talk about prostate cancer once he got it, even though it had been a part of his family history. Is that something that you would say happened with you as well? Um, not really. It, it, it did uh, worry me and inhibited me before I knew I'd got it. Mm -hmm. But once it had been discovered, I felt that I was more on sort of like a conveyor belt and that things were going to sort of uh, happen to me and I no longer had much sort of uh, control over what was going to happen. Mm -hmm. My control was uh, lost when I didn't go and have pre-screenings. You and did not have pre-screenings, so many of our no. viewers will be surprised by that. So how did you find out that you had prostate cancer? It was purely fortuitous. I came over here from England in uh, 10 years ago. Uh, there had been really no suggestion of having any such screening in England. When I got over here, I, one day, about a year later, I had to go and see my physician. I saw her and I said, look, I've seen all these television commercials saying what men ought to go along and have screened. And I said, so what is a 64 year old like me? What should I have? And so she said, you better have a prostate at least. So hop up on the couch and, and so I did. And she did the old digital exam mm -hmm. and um, she said, oh, uh, yeah, I think there may be something. So you did not go in because you had any symptoms or anything like that? You were going in for a prescription? Yes. Nikki, you know, we talk so much about prostate cancer and it, you know, it is the reason why the celebrity is coming, but there are other screenings that are part of the event. Give us just an idea, an overview of some of the different things. This is a bilingual event, so if you speak Spanish, we will be able to have interpreters there as well. Um, some of the things at the event will be providing breakfast, lunch, but the important things are cholesterol screening, hearing, vision, and for those that qualify, we'll be able to get a prostate cancer voucher as well, and of course, while supplies last. Thank you so much for doing this and for coming in and giving us a preview. 17 years, a wonderful event. Thank you for coming in. It's so nice to meet you. My pleasure. Closed captioning is brought to you by Lakeland Toyota.